Okay, so welcome again to RV Cuisine, Mary's Way. Today we're doing something really fun and sweet. It's a sweet donut, powdered sugar donut, with egg and bacon. You know, I've heard about them, and then I tried it, because I made it, and they're amazing. So first, what we're gonna do is, sorry about that. Okay, I have a little tip. This is a wine cap from a wine bottle, and I've got my biscuits from the can. These are from the Pillsbury can. So you just use just the Southern home style. You can use even maybe the cinnamon ones would be good. And then you poke, put your little hole in the middle because everyone probably has a wine cap or a water cap bottle when they're camping. So I'm gonna poke little holes in there and look, little donut holes too. So, oh gosh, those are so fun. So that's what we're gonna do. And get the heat going here, because what you're gonna be shocked with this next part. So this is a fast, easy way to make donuts on the road or even at home. I've made these before and iced them and nobody knows the difference. <laughs> so now I'm gonna put them in my oil and what happens is they fry up just like a donut, just like a donut. And I'm gonna put my little donut holes in there too because they're so cute and they're tasty and a wonderful little treat. So this is so fun. I'm just waiting on my skillet to heat up, which it's coming. It's definitely a good propane uh, stove and it'll heat up. Once it heats up, it heats up really fast and hot as you all know. So we're going to, the oil is heating and we're getting ready to, oh, these are gonna turn out. What happens is they get brown and crunchy. They taste just like a donut, kind of a dense donut, but not like the fluffy glazed donut, but that's okay. It's a, it's a donut sandwich. <laughs> and then you got your little donut holes kind of on the side. And then what I'm gonna do, I took some powdered sugar and after that, when they're done, I'm just gonna put them right in my powdered sugar. And because they're hot, they get really sweet. And oh, it's so much fun to eat. Oh, I love them. These are so good. You could also ice them. I've done that before. You can make some chocolate, melt some chocolate, and then dip them in that. I have definitely done that with these, and it's very tasty. I learned this tip a long time ago from someone on TV, I don't remember who, and I just, it's been with me ever since. And I have never tried making a homemade donut. I would love to, but why do that, all that work, when I can do this, especially when you're in the RV and you're camping and you just carry, you know, a package of uh, biscuits to eat, but you can also do this. Look at this, they're getting brown and our little donut holes are getting brown. So I'm gonna move them around here. And like I said, what I'm gonna do right when they're done is I'm going to probably drain them on a paper towel on my plate. Then I'm gonna dunk them into the powdered sugar and when they're hot so that they absorb all that sugar. And then we're gonna make an egg and we've already got some bacon made here. So we've got bacon. You can put cheese on the sandwich. I haven't had it that way, but if you love cheese, go for it. Anything you want, you could put, I actually saw someone put sausage on it, it looked delicious. But look at these, they're already getting really brown. And in a few minutes, they'll start to look like real donuts. But it's cute how you can make the little hole without, um, any worry, you don't have to have like a biscuit cutter or anything, just a water bottle, any kind of cap. And children love to make this, let me tell you, especially when they can add sprinkles and all that stuff on it, chocolate donuts. Look at these, oh, they turn out so crispy and crunchy. Look at this one, it's up. <laughs> it's so much fun, I love this recipe. This is so much fun. So we're gonna let them get, all get brown and our little donut holes. Then we're gonna build, make our eggs and we're gonna build this sandwich. And it's kind of a one pot dish because 
I already prepped. I had bacon left over, so I just brought that. And now I'm going to look at this little donut hole's done. So actually I can put him in the powdered sugar. Yum. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at this. I love it when they get like that. Really brown and crunchy. Oh, this is making me so hungry. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to drain these on my paper towel, my little donut holes and my delicious donuts. And then be careful. That's a hot skillet. I'm going to dump these into the powdered sugar. Look at that. And like I said, you could just ice them. You could melt some some white chocolate. Oh, I did white chocolate once and my daughter put sprinkles on them. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. We gave them to people and people didn't even know the difference that we didn't buy these at the store. <laughs> it was so funny. So now I've got my little donut holes. They're so cute. And those will be fun to snack on. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to make our egg and we can use the same oil because so what right we don't we don't care so let's do two eggs we'll make two sandwiches Woo! look at my yolk didn't even break how good is that and now i gotta get these out ah. all right those are perfect so now oh my yolk broke there but that's okay i don't mind i like broken yolks whatever <laughs> so now i'm going to get my donuts on this plate if I can carefully. So now uh, our eggs are cooking and I've got here our plate of donuts with the powdered sugar. They do get a little icy, the I, uh, powdered sugar melts and that's okay, I like it that way. Hopefully you'll like it that way, but if you don't, just wait for them to cool a little bit longer and then dunk them in the powdered sugar. But I'm making, I'm waiting for my eggs to cook here. Meanwhile, I'm gonna put my bacon on top. Ooh, look at that. Let's be generous. Let's do two. Let me move this out of our way. Sorry. I'm gonna put two pieces of bacon on each sandwich. Like I said, you could very easily add cheese. It's just not in my wheelhouse, but if you love it, that would be great. And like I saw somebody do sausage and bacon on it and ham, it's like, it was decadent looking. <laughs> it looked, I wouldn't have to eat probably for two days if I ate that. <laughs> it looked so good, but these eggs are looking good. I like my eggs over easy. You could do them sunny set up. You could even do scramble, whatever you like, whatever your family likes. Personal choice and it's so good. And this is so fun the kids on a Saturday when you're in the RV making this while they're watching their movies or cartoons or just you and your husband, whatever. But this is so fun. So now I'm going to take my egg, put it on top of my sandwich. Oh gosh, I have one more egg. Oh, 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 oh my God. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is too much. I can't stand it, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it helps you save time so you can have fun with your family and enjoy, and I'll see you back.